Hey guys, welcome back again with Chippos. Anyways, this is my regular day. Um, I just ate, if you guys could see it in the other video, I ate, um, like, spaghetti because it was hungry. So, anyways, I'm going to put the plates away right now, so I'll catch you guys in a minute. <coughs> Sorry if you hear so many rackets, but I'm putting the dishes away, so kind of a little noisy, but it's okay, right? I'm just putting dishes away. And then, and then we'll have a little talk about something else too. Okay. When you were growing up, did anything mysteriously happen to you guys? Like, like if you went to a house and you felt like a weird vibe, like, 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 kind of creepy vibe. Well, that happened to me one time. <clears throat> My, um, uh, boyfriend's, um, brother used to live in a, my brother-in-law used to live in a, house. It was like yellow house. Um, and we used to go there all the time, like, for like, you know, parties or like having a cookout outside. Well, um, it was like in a winter. I went to their house and we were inside and I was wearing my green hoodie. My green hoodie. And I was just sitting there, you know, on the, on the kitchen table, and, um, <clears throat> you know how, like, houses in Reading have, um, mirrors on, like, the wall? On, like, the wall, it had a mirror, and, well, you know, anyways, besides that mirror, I was sitting next to it, and I felt like a tug, like, this. And I turned around, and there was nobody behind me at all. I turned around and there was nobody there like at all that was like my first experience ever it was kind of creepy my, my creepy experience and um, I didn't even know what it was and there was nobody behind me at all and So anyways, um, and, and on the other side, there was a house that nobody lived in it. It was like, and the reason nobody lived in it was because the person that lived next to the house did like weed. Like, don't worry, that shadow right there, that was a car. So just so you guys know, that was a car. So if you guys think that you saw a shadow, that was a car. <laughs> um... And, um, they only grew weed. Like, they didn't even grow any vegetables or any, um, like, you know, um, any, anything like that. And they were kicked out. You know, they were, you know, because they, they never, ra they never grew anything. It was only weed. And I looked, I didn't, like, look inside the building, but, um, I looked inside the window, and because the window was broken, and you could, like, see, like, there was still furniture in it, like, people left their furniture, and from the outside, the yard was, like, really nice, but, um, you could, like, tell where all the weed was growing. It was, it was weird, but, um, <clears throat> that was my, uh, creepy experience in that house 
And I think the previous thing is that we went there over and over and over again. And it happened just like one time. I don't know whether something was trying to get my attention or it was just trying to scare me. But, um, um, as in to me, I don't believe in ghosts at all. Um, <clears throat> i never seen one. So I can't, I can't say that I do believe in one. So i never seen a ghost before. Um, I only believe in Jesus Christ because, you know, he's the man that lives up in the air, up in the skies, and, um, he's the only thing I believe. Do I believe in ghosts? Have I ever seen one? No. And if I ever do one, ever see one, I will probably pee my pants. <laughs> Literally, I will probably put my pants and I will, I will probably go crazy. <clears throat> I will be like, I don't know. I will be doing something, that's for sure. Um, so, anyways, I don't believe in that stuff. Um, if you guys do believe in that stuff, um, like what is the creepiest things that you guys have ever experienced in your life? If you do, comment down below. Tell me what was your creepy experience. And, you know, I would like to know. Because I just think it's awesome. Anyways, um, because, you know, just like a little monkey. Curious little monkey. Just a curious little George was always so curious about what's going on in the world. So I'm basically like him. I'm curious George, you know, that likes to know what's going on, but, um, yeah, anyways, besides that, that was one creepy experience, another creepy experience was when I was there with my parents, um, I got up to go to the bathroom, and I saw, like, a child sitting there, you know, in the dark, and I had to go to the party, you know, I had tea, so... Um, I didn't look. And I went to the bathroom. And, I don't know, whether I see things or something. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. But, um, ooh, bubbles. But I did see that. That's for sure. But, um, yes. And, I don't know, there was like a lot of experiencing I've ever had. But, um, you know. People have, I don't know what it, I don't know what it means. Um, I don't know if it just just means you're going crazy. And um, it's a cuckoo, like I am right now, talking to the camera, <clears throat> talking to myself. But um, you guys have me to be company, right? You guys are my buddies. You know, if anything happens, I will literally work share with you guys. Um, but um, yeah. It's just, you know, weird that that things happen. Either something happened in the house, which I don't think happened in the house because my parents said that they grew, they built that house like under by, by hand, like they didn't actually buy it. They built it, you know, by hand. Isn't that cool? I want to build a house. <laughs> Killed it my own and actually say, yep, I built it. I made all of that. And I did that, and I did the kitchen, and I did the table, and, and I did the dining room, and I even did the basement, and I want to be like, you know, be proud of myself because I built something. But, um, anyways, uh, <clears throat> that is, uh, one creepy experience I had when I was growing up. Um, but I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was just because I was sleepy, or because I saw it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but, um, that is just one scary thing I saw, but, um, besides that, um, anyways, so, another thing is that people do say that they see things, either they see things, like, for, like that, I don't know how to say it, that weird word, for, 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 for something, prattless, or, I don't know. Like, when you're, like, sleeping, and then it feels like you're actually getting up, but then it doesn't feel like you're getting up. Like, like your, your body feels like you're being lifted. Like, that happened to me. Like, when we were at that, pe that people's house, um, 
I was sleeping and you know I suddenly like, just suddenly closed my eyes and it felt like I was being lifted up like up in the air like that and it feels like you're yelling for help but but you can't like you can't call for help but then eventually you like get up really fast um, that has happened to me. Not just one time. Um, a lot of times. Um, when I lived in Reading, I was in a, in a, I was living in Reading and that happened to me. Like, it felt like something was sitting on top of me. And I just, all of a sudden, I told them, you know, get off of me and, and I pushed it off. And I felt like, it's, it just, it just feels weird. Like, I saw it getting off of me. Like, I saw it flowing off. And, um... It's just one, it's just the creepy things, like the creepy feelings that you have, um, you know, but, um, I do know that one of our friends that lives in, in Maryland did say that, um, he said that he was working at a house and he said that the house that he lived in was haunted. Mm, creepy. And he said that when he was sick, he was working there one time by himself, and he went upstairs. I don't know what he was doing upstairs. He was doing something. But um, he said that he left the door open, and then um, and then the door closed automatically. Like, he didn't see it, but he heard the door slam, and there was nobody there but him. And I was like, whoa, that's just, that's just creepy, you know. But, um, people do say that haunted houses are either the spirits are trapped and they don't want to leave, or, um, um, or they just <clears throat> don't want to, you know, they just don't want to leave. Or they're trapped. Or something is making them not leave. Something... It's making them stay there. And it just makes you kind of rethink, you know, about, you know, about life, you know. It just makes you kind of think, are they real such things like that? Are they really such things as ghosts or, or demons or possessions or... You know how um, people do like um, <clears throat> witchcraft and... Some tiny or ritual and some something like that, and you know, that's because some people either that's because they worship Satan. They wake up the they wake up the dead, and somehow the dead end up leaving there, or they wake up something else that they didn't expect to wake up, and then they end up leaving the centennial ritual open, which means they open a portal. Portal. And they leave it there. Like, have you ever played a Ouija board? I and my never played a Ouija board in my life. I had one, but I never like. Whether it was because I didn't believe in it, or it was because it wasn't working. I don't know. Some people that believe it works for them, and like, I bought it at Toys R Us, which is kind of you know scary that you know Toys R Us would have Ouija boards. That's just, there you go. Give the children the worst nightmare of your life, you know. Give them a, a Ouija board for the birthday or for Christmas. There you go. That's a way to scare the, the Christmas spirit. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm not saying, you know, to go and buy that for yourself because I don't think she would like that very much. Um, but, um... Yeah, can you just believe that, that something like that is just creepy? Anyways, people believe in that. Either sometimes people, I've seen, I've seen videos on like YouTube where people are getting possessed. And it's just, it's just creepy. It's just creepy actually to even think about that. And I, I'm just, you know, talking you know, what's coming out of me, and because, you know, people have experience, people have creepy experience, and that just creepy experience, you know, stays with you, and anyways, <clears throat> so, 
when he said that the door closed on him and I asked him if that building is really like really really haunted he said yes and I said huh I want to know what, what it feels to be you know creep out of your misery <laughs> or creep out of your little I was gonna swear but I'm not gonna swear because this video is clean among all my videos are clean this is a clean clean video site so anyways I was going to uh, do some doo doo on me and I don't think I want to do that but um I told them you know that I want to I want to know if it's really haunted you know I want to know the truth so he said okay well we'll take you there one time and we will leave you there I was like no you were not leaving me there and he said no boy you said you want to know how it feels to be creepy the only way for you to be creepy is for you to be there alone I was like okay I'll just um you know take my bible and and um start praying and he's like well good luck with that <laughs> oh, okay but um anyways I'm just you know but anyways I just think that it's creepy have you ever guys had like a weird experience like that among anything anything scary in your past or when you were growing up and you like or having your or having your brother freak the shit out of you and freaking you out and making you like pee your pants <laughs> but um so anyways I just think that um, if there are really things like that around in the world, um, be careful. Um, don't play with the Ouija board. Um, if you do play it, remember to always say goodbye because if you don't say goodbye, um, that means that thing that you left open will come out and not only come out of you. It will haunt you forever. And the only way for you to do that is um, for you to go to a church and ask somebody to pray for you and give you a something. Or you can sage yourself. You can buy that, that like sage spirit thing and, um, you know, wash your house away. Make your house clean. Um, make your house special. Make it not hurt you. Because some people do say that houses can be like that. Like either they can hurt you or something. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, um, <clears throat> something like that. So, anyways, um, I'm just, you know, doing dishes here because I need to do dishes because my house is a mess. I went on vacation and my house is a mess and I didn't clean it up. So now I have to clean it up and, you know, make sure it's clean because we certainly want to clean out. Not a dirty house. Nobody likes dirty houses. Um, um, certainly not. Really. But, um, I'm going to just, just like wash these dishes for a minute. And, oh, and, don't worry, that was the dishes. Now I freak myself out from talking like that. <laughs> but, um, I'm just going to wash these for a minute. So, if I'm a little quiet, it's because I'm trying to concentrate here. You know, you have to concentrate to wash dishes because you never know, you can miss a spot. And, um... And you could mess up like this, like food on fork or on a knife. So, anyways, um, so I'm gonna go mute for a minute. Hello, no, guys. We'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a minute.
done now we're gonna put the meat in here so it can be defrost because um it's still frozen I'm gonna make a hole in it to get defrosting to start melting away from the meat and so the meat can also wash because nobody likes to eat dirty food okay These ones, I'm gonna let them soak in water because it's a little hard. So, put a little soap on it so the bugs don't get on it. And if they do, they can get stuck and drown. Oh. Alright, that's done. Now I'm gonna clean the stove and I'll be right back.
All right, guys. I just cleaned the kitchen. It's a little bit clean. A little bit, right? Okay, so that part right there is not clean. Yet, so she's right. This is clean, except that because I'm doing that later. So now I'm going to clean the living room. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. If you do, run. Avoiding him since last night. Anything from the interviews? There was no sign of the murder weapon anywhere on board, and there are no positive GSR tests. Or a shooter wore a glove and changed clothes. Witnesses? No one saw what happened on deck. Any good news? Yeah. A couple of members said a man in a green uniform had an argument with a member of the bus group staff. And that happened about um, 10 minutes before the gunshots. No, just before I met Nolan at the bar. We're on our way to ID the crew member using the couple's description. In the meantime, what about the other passengers? As long as you can find them. see you guys maybe like an hour and then I'll show you guys how I make dinner all the time so I'll catch you guys later and um, I hope you like this video and if you did um, push a like um, subscribe put notifications on so you don't min never miss a video and I will catch you guys later um, yeah probably later so um, I will try my best to drop three videos today. I already dropped one. This is the second one, so I'll do a third one. So, I'm going to start doing that for now on. I'm going to do three videos. What do you guys think? Should I do three videos? Um, if you think it's right, comment down below. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. And, yeah, well, we'll talk later, you guys. So, follow me on Instagram, too. Bye.